What's up YouTube, Rider Zero coming at you again with another review. This time we're going to take a look at the Double Driver from Common Rider Double. Um, I got this probably about a month ago. It's been out for quite a while in Japan obviously, but I got this along with some of the other gear that I've shown you. Uh, the Skull Magnum, for example. Got this from Rider Proxy on HJU, who once again I'm going to plug here because I highly recommend using her services. She is an awesome middleman, or middlewoman I should say. Um, so, you know, definitely go check her out if you're looking to get any toys from Japan or, uh, you know, anything like that. Hop on over to HJU or uh, send her an email. She'll help you out. Um, but anyway, we'll, we'll get on with the review here. Like I said, this is the double driver. Um, you pretty much get a good good shot of what comes with this particular toy right here on the front of the box. You can see, obviously, you're going to get the driver. Um, Joker memory, as well as Cyclone, Heat, and Luna, which, uh, sorry about that. Um, I wish that it didn't take buying two other DX toys to finish off the main forms. But, you know, that's Bandai for you, and they want every dollar that you have, so that's what they're going to do. And by that, obviously, I mean the Trigger Magnum, which hopefully I should have coming in the next week or two, so look out for a review on that as well. And then, if you want the uh, Metal Memory to go along with Heat, you have to get the Metal Shaft Deluxe Weapon. Uh, this one, you know, it comes with a good, a good start, though. It comes with basically all of the main uh, Philip Memories. Um... We'll go ahead and take a look at the driver here, out of the box, because, you know, like I said, I've had these for a while, so pretty much every toy that I currently own is out of box. Um, but there you go, there's the driver itself. And I, I really wish that my camera would pick up a little better on the colors, because um, the the colors on the DX toys, especially the Common Rider toys, are fantastic. Um, I'm a really big fan of the silver going all the way back to, you know, the famous Bandai Silver on the um, Power Morpher from uh, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, which I still have, actually. Awesome toy. Um, but they do a really good silver, and this red is basically the same red that you see on the axle driver as well as the engine blade, which you can check out reviews of. Um, as with, you know, all the other toys that you've seen me review so far, except for Skull Magnum, uh, no electronics nothing like that in here uh, everything is done electronically and sound wise at least via the Gaia memories um, you can see here on the back I showed this on the axle driver review I think um, anyway this basically looks the same as it does on the axle driver except for right here in the middle it's a little bit longer uh, you know still nice detailing on it though uh, it's a little more detailed than I was kind of expecting um, the belt normally, of course, would go in here. This side is supposed to be a little more permanent, um, but you can still force it in and out of there, you know. But since I'm just displaying, I didn't even bother putting the belt in, so I probably won't even show you that. Uh, basically, standard belt. However, I will say that on the belt, they do continue the, uh, what do I want to call it? Kind of like, I guess you could call it almost like an experimental type look. How you can see, like, you know, the wires on the front of it here are exposed. You know, you have wiring right there that's exposed. Um, the the, the kind of motif like that continues on the belt uh, with the wire kind of look going around it. Um, there's not a really good shot on the box. Well, you can kind of see it right here on the box between these two memories. You can see how the wiring kind of continues along through the belt. Uh, which, I, you know, I like that. It's a, it's a nice little touch as far as the detailing goes. Um, that's about it as far as this goes. The, the other side would clip in here that is removable, as with pretty much all the DX belts lately. Clips in on this side, and, you know, you can squeeze it and pull it out of there. This is where the Gaia memories are inserted. Uh, obviously, silver tipped for uh, Phillips side, gold tip for Shitaro side. Um, this is where the lights shine through. Which I really like this. Um, actually, it's probably not going to show up the correct light color since it shows Joker and Skull. Even though they're purple, it shows them being as blue, but we'll see how it goes. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at some of the memories, actually. I'll set that in the background here. Main two memories that you're going to be using, probably. 
will be, as you just heard there, Cyclone and Joker. Um, I really like these two. I like the coloring on both. Uh, you've probably seen Joker in some of the other reviews I've done. Obviously, the tips are colored their respective sides. Um, let's take a look. I'm a, I just kind of want to do this myself here. Uh, so, yeah, it's still showing up really blue for Joker. Cyclone is showing up the correct color green, though. Um, like all DX memories, LR44 times three batteries. Uh, nice size speaker. Electronics are done really well. Uh, LED on this one is purple, even though it's showing blue. And green on that one. Uh, it also comes with the Luna and the heat memories, which are done nicely as well. Let's take a look at the colors on these and sound. Luna looks like it's supposed to be. And Heat all looks like it's supposed to be as well. I really like the red on Heat. I think they use this for a lot of the candy toy memories. Uh, I know Kiva is colored this way. Um, my phone keeps going off over there. Sorry about that. Uh, both obviously silver tip for Philip's side. Uh, same thing, 3LR44s. Um, so yeah, that's about it. We'll go ahead and take a look at the what they sound like in the in the driver itself. Start with the obvious here. We'll go with Cyclone and Joker. You get that nice little waiting to power up type sound until you flip it open. Oh wow! That's weird. Try this again. So there you go. Phillips side shows up correct. It's green, but like I said, this side's showing up blue, but even though it's purple. Um, I, I do like the way that this uh, that the lights stay on for a few minutes, or not a minute, but a few seconds after the hinge and sound, music, whatever. Um, they mix you know, really well here in the middle. You kind of get like a gradient style effect. Obviously, you get the green coming through and the purple, even though you're seeing blue. Um, Go ahead and take a look at some of the other combinations real quick. You get the nice, like, power down sound and then the back sound. Look at Heat. Heat's one of my favorites, actually. It's got a really pink look to it. You can kind of see the pink there a little bit, actually. Um... Take a look at Luna. I kind of like Luna's as well. Uh, but yeah, those are those are what they sound like, obviously, in the double driver. Uh, we'll take a look at the maximum drive, which is right huh? This would clip onto the belt normally if you were using it. Um, since I've got it here, we'll go ahead and try heat. You get that noise until you hit the button right here. Right there. I won't go through all of them just because I'm kind of already running short on time here. Um, if you've seen my other reviews, you've seen some other combinations. I've done Axle and Skull in there, so you can take a look at... Um, I, th I think I did it in the Axle Driver and the Skull Magnum videos. Um, overall, though, I really love this belt. Um, it's only the second belt that I have. I should have Kiva's belt coming in another week or two as well, along with the Trigger Magnum. Um, the Deca Driver is another one that I actually have, which I really love. It's probably my favorite one. Uh, no offense to the Double Driver. Um, I picked this up for right about retail, I believe, from Rider Proxy, once again on HJU. Um, definitely recommend it. You know, the Gaia memories themselves are worth it because, you know, I, I sit around playing with them all the time. I have them stacked on the desk and just randomly, you know, we'll hit them. But I uh, definitely recommend it. Um, so, you know, definitely want to pick that up if you're looking at any of the double toys. Um, I may do a review of this, which, you know, most people are going to recognize. Fungu. Yeah, that's Fang. Um, I may end up doing a review of this guy just by himself because he's that awesome. He's sat on my desk ever since I got him. 
I play with him all the time too. Um, he'll be a separate review if I do that. So be on the lookout for that. And uh, that's about it. I hope you guys enjoyed it. As always, please comment, subscribe, let me know if you like me, hate me, um, what I should change in the reviews, whatever. Um, hope you guys have a nice day and thanks for watching.